News Load London presents. This just in with Jester Lind. This is Jester Lind with News Load News. Starting immediately, news is no longer going to be on Facebook. This is a response to the Online News Act, which is requiring companies like Google and Facebook to pay for the content that they borrow from news organizations. Why are we doing this in direct sunlight? This isn't what I understood when I heard I was going to be doing hot takes. Um, I have heard that you have a certain poster in your bedroom at home. I got a Peter Mansbridge pin up. Really? Yeah, it's a centerfold from Silver Fox Monthly. In Canada, Facebook and Google make 80% of the total advertising money. Meanwhile, nearly 500 news organizations have gone out of business in Canada since 2008, eliminating 20,000 jobs. That's not censorship if you actually show the content. All they have had to do was pay for the content. Yeah, and Australia's doing yeah. it, right? Australia did it. It worked out great. I feel bad for, for Mark Zuckerberg all of a sudden. Apparently, he's going to get in a fist fight with Elon Musk. Did you hear about that? Oh, yeah. Who do you think would win? Oh, Zuckerberg. Totally Zuckerberg. Bam! That ass just popping. That dude, that dude did not skip leg day. So what's going to be left on Facebook? Just the classic fake news stuff. You're going to get to hear about how microchips caused vaccinated Bill Gates to do 9-11 on a flat earth. No standards. Just garbage and picture us of your cousin Trisha's lunch. The weird thing about the flat earth thing is it's just entirely based off of a distrust of authority. There, the man's trying to keep you down by telling you that there's curvature to the earth somehow. I don't, that's, I don't well, know. I mean, it seems possible that millions of people could be wrong. If the earth was flat, capitalism would have figured out a way to monetize that already. There would be trips to go look off the edge of the world. Like, and it would be, it would be a disaster. It would be covered in garbage, like the top of Everest is now. Look who been to, who's been to space. Can you really trust those people? Chris Hadfield? I can trust Chris Hadfield. But did, did you ask him directly? Did you look him in the eye and say, Chris, is the Earth round? No. I don't want to be like that guy who called John Glenn a coward and then got punched in the face by an astronaut. We're just going to have to get really, really good at media literacy. They should like teach it in schools or something. Uh, not a big fan of the moon landing is faked conspiracy. I think. Yeah, you know why? Because uh, it's clear that the moon landing's fake because they got that picture of the round earth. <sighs> you got me. Right, so at least Facebook is going to be the place where you can come to go get the, the real, real news. Yeah, that's going to be where the men in black go to read their news. This is Jester Lind with Newsload News saying, I better get out of here before the birds can turn on the device that's in my fillings. They say no news is good news, but I don't know. In this case, no news is bad news. I guess they need to hire people, uh, people got to live in order to tell, you know, to do on the ground journalism. It's like, yeah. I've heard that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to go directly to the source now. Yeah. And you're going to actually have to give money to news organizations. This is the news load.